Hey guys, it's Gabrielle and welcome to my channel and for another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a recipe that I experimented with and I ended up liking a lot. It's a coffee scrub, but this is intended for my face. I have a recipe for coffee scrub that I use on my body and I don't change that because it's very economical and it works for me. So that's the same recipe I've kept over the years and I will link that video below if you're interested. But basically the only difference between that one and this uh, video right here is that here I am using fresh coffee beans but in the other one I use coffee that has already been ground and also has already been brewed so there's moisture in the coffee and in the one that I use for my body I can't keep it for long periods because I end up having to throw it out because eventually it will mold since the coffee was brewed and that introduced moisture in the situation so here I wanted to work with ingredients that were completely dry and also ingredients that would not require any water because I want this uh, scrub to keep and I also want to make it for my face so I am using the favorite essential oils which is lavender and peppermint and I've talked about those before I am also using coffee uh, fresh coffee beans I'm using honey and I'm also using the uh, coconut oil that I infused with lavender and then I whipped it up and it has this velvety texture and this is what we're going to be using for making the scrub first things first we are gonna grind the coffee down now you want the coffee uh, the texture of the coffee itself to be very very fine almost powdery because your facial skin is very sensitive and the coffee is already unabrasive so the larger the particles the higher the chance that it will tear into the skin and actually do more harm than good uh, the coffee that I use for my body has larger particles because my coffee machine can only take very large particles but with this one since I'm beginning from scratch I can make it as fine as I want Want, which is why I definitely recommend investing in one of these coffee grinders because they are multifunction and they're also really cheap you can find them anywhere and they really really do help because if I bought the coffee ground it would still be too large for my face and the thing with with that is you have to be very careful otherwise you will tear into the skin also you will hear coffee has a reputation for uh, clearing cellulite this is half true because the caffeine itself that's in the coffee has this ability to act as a diuretic which dehydrates the fat cells and then this makes the skin appear smoother however this is not a long-term thing like you would need to keep doing it because that kind of fat cell that creates cellulite is a special type of cell that cannot just be eliminated topically but you can definitely make your skin appear a lot better just by using a coffee scrub that has a lot of caffeine in it coffee also has some antioxidant uh, properties it's protective of free radicals which will protect your skin from pollution and you know dust and particles like that and it also has some protection from the ultraviolet radiation so you will hear caffeine being touted as the go-to product for skincare and it's only been in the last couple of years that this has kind of skyrocketed okay uh, from there we need a binder for the mask and both the honey and the coconut oil will act as a binder basically something that the coffee can cling to so that we can apply it on our face without it getting all over the place already the coconut oil is an excellent oil for the skin because it's antioxidant antibacterial antimicrobial it's also a very rich oil that has a lot of uh, minerals and a lot of vitamins in it it's great for the skin so you have that combination there already and then we add the honey which is a natural sugar and natural sugars are actually great for your skin because they moisturize the skin naturally but honey in particular is also antimicrobial which is great because it's awesome for preventing breakouts so you have this combination that is ingredients that are very favorable to the skin but also at the same time economical and at the same time sensible so the amount used will depend on your preference for texture and consistency as you can see I'm adding the coconut oil as I go along because you don't want to add too much of one thing so add a little as you go along and I would definitely recommend using a separate bowl and then once you're happy with the mix then go ahead and add your essential oils I'm using my favorite uh, peppermint because it has that menthol in there that is very tingling and soothing to my skin I'm also using lavender which has a reputation of being a very cooling herb uh, so I like 
lavender which is why i infused it in the coconut uh, but you can use anything you like here depending on your skin type of course then once you're done this is the consistency of it it's an awesome awesome scrub and i think it's great because i sort of uh, whipped the coconut oil and so it has this amazing velvety texture and it also smells really really good i almost want to eat it um, and you could nothing would happen if you ate it because it's all natural but uh, it's meant for the face so i won't but as you can see, it does make a wonderful scrub. However, still you need to be careful with the face because your face is very sensitive and this is still coffee. So if you're very aggressive, it will tear into your skin and we don't want that. So be careful while you use it. Also, when it cools down, it will resolidify. Right now, the coffee is a little salt liquid because I have been mixing it and heat sort of disintegrates it. But once it cools down, it's going to have this amazing texture to it that is solid. And then as soon as it touches your skin, it just melts. And this is how normally I will use it. And finally, and most important, the reason why this scrub will last a really long time is because there's no water in it. So while you're using it, be careful. Just take whatever you need in the shower and leave the rest someplace safe or just separate out what you're using and save the rest somewhere else because when you get water in it you will uh, either need to add a preservative or it will mold and your beautiful scrub will be destroyed i hope this video was helpful thank you so much guys for watching and additional notes will be linked in the info bar below i will see you guys on the next video take care until then bye